show you the not so secret formula for the hanging baskets. If you do this formula, your hanging baskets will turn out amazing, I promise you, but you have to be strict about sticking to the program. So the first thing you got here is the 20-20-20. This is from Fertilome. This is just a kind of like a water soluble granular stuff. Looks like that. And then you've got this stuff right here. It's the 958-8 Blooming and Rooting from Fertilome. So basically what you do is you use one of these every other day and then you alternate. So on Monday, you would use this one. Tuesday, you use clear water. Wednesday, this one. Thursday, clear water. Uh, Friday, this one, and so on. So you alternate every other day, alternating these different products. And I tell you, the formula works and you'll have awesome blooms all summer long. So basically what the formula is, is it's one teaspoon of this stuff. Do not follow the directions on the back of this. Today I'm doing the blooming and rooting. I haven't been as good as I normally am with this, the shears. So I just get a bunch of five gallon buckets and I just go around like this. And I put in my formula. It's so like I said, it's one teaspoon per gallon of water. So you put them all in there, then you fill them all up and then you use one of these. This, just get this down to the home Santa. And then you use this like this to uh, mix up your formula. Then the last part of the formula is this hydrotain. This stuff you put in there and you use this once a month. What this stuff does is helps the soil retain the water. So with your planters and baskets, the water generally just goes down and through and then it doesn't stay in the soil. This stuff helps the water stick to the soil and helps it stay in there. The hydrotain directions say to use two ounces of this per every one gallon of water for plants. So I've got this little measuring cup here. You can get these on Amazon and I can leave the link below. These things are seriously so awesome to have in the garage. So I need 10 ounces per every five gallons. That is a lot. That isn't gonna go very far. That bottle's not even gonna do all of these buckets. Holy crap. So I'm just gonna do like about eight. These are kind of expensive. This is like 40 bucks or something. You can get this from Do My Own or Amazon or something, but I'm just gonna go light and whoa, 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 whoa. So that kind of sucks really. That didn't go very far. 40 bucks whatever so this stuff's a wetting agent it's also good to put on the lawn if you have like localized dry spots put this stuff on the lawn so the hydrotain is only once a month but these the blooming and rooting and the 2020 20 from fertilome i'll leave links down below if you want to buy them from do my own those are every other watering and sometimes you have to water every day and sometimes every twice a day. These, these kind of bottles right here, these kind of bottles are Ryan's favorite. He loves them. He's like, he's like all into these. He's like, yeah, steal this off the bottle and put it on one of the other bottles. I'm like, dude, for real? Okay, whatever. Or just go buy another bottle. I've got all my fertilizer mixed up and I've got hydrotain in four of these. Didn't have enough to go and do more, even though I've got more in the garage, but I want it for the lawn. So now, just want to mix it all up like this. Make sure you get everything all dissolved. And then once it's dissolved, put it on the plants. On your clear watering day, just do clear water. Don't do any hydrogen. Don't do any kind of uh, fertilizer or anything like that. But I promise you, if you follow this, if you follow this recipe all summer long, your, your annuals will look awesome. And uh, they will look flat like they normally do, like when you start to get that heat summer stress. So this is probably more than I need, but I've got a lot of annuals and I've got a lot, lots of baskets. So I just like to mix them all up in these buckets so I have it all done. And then I just go around and dump them on my pots. So here we go. I've got baskets on my porch. Got baskets hanging on the wall here. We've got baskets on my 
um, driveway. And I've got lots of annuals throughout the beds here. I need to come out here with the hydrotain and with the, the hose end sprayer like Ryan loves so much and just spray all through here. So you want to water and fertilize your baskets every other day. And you could do this with like an injection system, but I don't have one. So, so look how awesome this one is. See all those blooms? That is freaking awesome, this, all these color. Yeah, I love this one. It's gonna be so cool when it starts to spill out. So here's that drop and decorate or the dine and dash pot that I did. And I lost a lot of my blooms for some reason. I was not that good about fertilizing this one. And all the blooms kind of went by the wayside. But I'm getting back onto my schedule and I'm gonna be good about fertilizing it. And I've fer been fertilizing this for about a week. So hopefully I get my blooms back. Look how thick and full it is with the, the drop and decorate. I also like to use this to fertilize this tree and to fertilize these dahlias here. Got this whole bed is full of dahlias. If these ever do bloom, it is going to be incredible. So we've got one more bucket full of water. I'm gonna try to get those on these annuals over here. Maybe those dahlias in the back. She did put the Osma coat in there when she planted those dahlias. I tell you, the dahlias are incredible if I can ever get them to bloom. This hose reel right here, this thing's made by Ely. I've been meaning to make a video on this thing. This thing is absolutely incredible. It's on ball bearings. So look at this. Look how easy that is to pull the hose off. Love this thing. They're expensive. They're like 180 bucks. And then extra if you want to buy like the post mount and you can mount that this way or you can turn it 90 degrees and mount it perpendicular to that. So watch how easy this hose is to reel up like this. It's almost effortless and it's just super simple and easy to reel up. So watch how effortlessly I can pull the hose off the reel, watch. See that? See how awesome that thing is? And then watch how easy this thing is to wind up. How fast you can wind it up. There. So just like that, the hose is wound up. I think I've got 150 feet of hose on here. So I did buy the hose rail extension so I could make, or so I could put more than one hose on there. I like a super long hose because my yard's kind of big. But these things are expensive. You'll end up spending about $200 by the time you get out the door. But this thing's gonna last a good 10 to 15 years. It's not one of those stupid ones that goes on your driveway and you're pulling it. And it's plastic and it's kind of pulling all around. This is not your grandma's hose reel. This thing is the real deal. These are new age hose reels, super awesome. And I'm thinking about buying another one of these, actually. They are so awesome. So I'll leave a link down below. It's an affiliate link. You, you can use it if you want to. You don't have to, I don't care. But these things are seriously so dang awesome. I've been wanting to make a real video on this, and I will someday, but these things are the real deal. And I would recommend these to anyone. So that's it for this video, guys. Tomorrow, I will mow this section, and then I will mow that section with the triplex probably without the blades going and just lay down some fat stripes did a double cut on there super stoked did the uh did the fertilization of the baskets and hanging pots and the pots on the porch the hose reel is incredible i promise you you will not be disappointed if you buy one of those so that's going to be it thanks for watching my videos and i'll see you guys in the next one